Hello, welcome to Your Simple Golf Swing. I'm Matt. In this video, I want to tackle a question that keeps coming up from a video that I previously did on using your body mass for acceleration and increased distance. A lot of viewers had questions. Uh, they wanted me to give some demonstrations on how to best get your body into your swing so you can apply the maximum amount of force into the back of the ball. As you can see, I have my little beagle puppy here, Pumpkin. She's going to try to assist me as best she can. Uh, she's about eight months old now, and um, yeah, she's interested in the golf ball. Let's see how long that golf ball stands up there. Okay. All right. Before I get, back, get into the video or the topic of the video, I'm going to welcome all the new viewers. Take some time, go through my channel. You'll see I've uploaded countless videos on how to perform the perfect swing properly, help give you effortless distance and accuracy. In addition to that, if you want to learn the swing a lot faster, I have created an online course. If you go down into the description, you'll see a link where you can click on it, get signed up and get started right away. Okay, so let's get into this discussion about how to get your body weight into the swing so you can put more force on the back of that ball and get a longer drive. So if you've watched a lot of my other videos, I talk a lot about doing the proper turn, doing our compound pivot, where we're straightening the right leg, bending the left leg, and turning back and then coming down into the ball. Well, a lot of viewers and, and students have sent me videos of themselves performing the swing, and some of them aren't quite getting in it right, and they want me to look at the videos to see what it is that they're not quite getting. Well, an important part of the compound pivot isn't just straighten your leg, bend this leg, and turn we have to make sure we move our weight away from the ball. We've got to get that weight loaded over onto the right hand side. If you look at some of the old videos of Mike Austin giving instructions, there's a, a video out there that he does where it's Mike Austin teaching other instructors. And what he tries to get them to do to really get an exaggerated feeling about getting this weight way behind the ball and then flinging it back in is he has them with a compound pivot, it's a tilt and a turn, okay? So the tilt part, of course, is straightening this leg while we bend this leg, but you're, you're moving that right hip way over to the right. Now, Mike Dunaway, he moved it back to the four o'clock position. What I mean by that is say this is 12 o'clock, behind you is six o'clock, three o'clock here is four o'clock is here. So what he did is he talked about using, moving the base of the spine back to the four o'clock position. Now what I'm seeing a lot of the students doing when they send me their videos is they're straightening this leg properly and bending this leg properly. But if you watch, you can actually do that and stay in position where you're not moving your weight over to the right side. You see how the spine is basically staying in one position? It's not really moving. The base of the spine is pretty much staying right here. So if you're simply straightening this leg and bending this leg and just turning like this, you're not really getting your weight over to your right side. You have to get your weight to, your, to the right side. Mike Austin talked about the downswing is putting back into the swing what we took out of it. And when he discusses that, he's talking about the folding of the right arm and the, the cocking of the hands and how you need to put that back into the ball. But it also holds true in our weight shift. Now, if we want to throw our weight into the ball, but we haven't taken that weight back, we have nothing to throw into it. Okay, if you follow me, if your weight stays stationary, like in conventional teaching where they've got a lot of knee bend and they just turn their back, you're not actually moving your weight away off the ball. So you have nothing to throw into the ball. So just try it this way for a second. Stand like this and just turn and then and then turn back into it and then next time get that get that right hip to actually you, I want you to over exaggerate this it's at the start I want you to get this right hip way past your right ankle then do your turn and then you'll feel you've got a lot more to throw into the ball that's a key that a lot of people are missing we have to get that weight back behind the ball now, I'm in my screen and closed area, so I can't hit the ball. But what you want to do is, as you straighten this one and bend this one, 
it's more than just bending this knee. You need to lift this ankle off the ground. If that ankle's not coming off the ground, you're not gonna get much weight shift over to the right side. Get this left ankle up off the ground so you can get your, your hip behind the ball and then, then you'll have something to throw into the ball to come back at it. Now, once again, one of the things I talk about all the time, keep your head steady. That's not the same as keep your head down. Don't keep your head down, just keep it steady. And what you wanna do is you wanna get that weight, make sure you see that spine, that base of that spine come way over to the side. Some people will think that's a sway, it's not a sway. A sway is when your whole body moves back and forward, that's a sway. What we're doing is we're trying to pretend like our body is a bell, this is the top of the bell, and this is the, the big round part of the bottom of the bell. You want this bell to swing like that, and then like that, and it's doing it with the turn. Okay, so you're turning, and then you're turning back in. So make sure you are throwing that weight. When you first start doing this, get it way past your ankle. Keep your head steady, and then it's, you do the same thing going forward. You're going to throw that weight and get that weight past your left ankle as you turn in the ball. But again, keep your head steady. This will help unlock incredible distance. Go out there and give this a try, work on that. Work on getting that turn properly. You wanna get that weight over to the right side so you've got your, the base of the spine is moving like this. Right down here, the base of the spine is gonna move this way. You turn and then you go right back and the base of that spine is gonna go that way, okay? That's how you get your mass into the swing. Power point to put force in the back of the ball. You must get that weight back behind the ball and then you need to put that weight back into the ball. You've gotta put back in what you take out like Mike Austin says. I hope this helps you out and helps unlock that key for you. There she goes. She, she, she can't keep the ball on the tee. Anyways, Pumpkin, thank you for your help.